What's the difference between chimpanzees and bonobos? Chimpanzees and bonobos are famous for being our closest living relatives today, but do you know how to tell them apart? Most people don't, which is where today's video comes in. We're going to look at each of them in turn to see what makes them so similar and, crucially, what makes them different. So, with that out of the way, let's head into the heart of the forest and pay these wild cousins of ours a visit. Chimpanzees Chimpanzees, aka pantroglodytes, hardly need an introduction. From their depictions in countless nature shows and movies to their prominent displays in zoos and circuses, and even space voyages, it's easy to see why chimpanzees are certified A-list celebrities. Like humans, chimpanzees are hominids, hominines, and hominins. Hominid refers to the hominidae family, while hominine and hominin refer to creatures under the hominini subfamily and hominini tribe, respectively. Ancestors of the chimps genus, Pan, diverged from human ancestors during the Miocene epoch, roughly 8 million years ago. Today, we have about four subspecies within a distribution range that stretches from west to east Africa and as far south as Zambia. They live in a bunch of different habitats, from tropical rainforests to open woodlands and dry grasslands, swamps, and in the mountains. They are highly adaptable and quick to learn about their environment's opportunities and threats. Chimpanzees are highly intelligent animals that display a wide range of problem-solving skills situational and contextual awareness, and high trainability. The use of tools like rocks or sticks is common as well, with groups and individuals from different areas having different ways of using similar tools. Another aspect of their intelligence is their advanced sociability. These animals live in very complex social groupings of up to 150 individuals. The groupings are called fusion-fission societies, with fusion referring to a grand tribe of chimps that holds a certain territory. A fusion is made up of smaller, more intimate familial groupings known as fissions. Unlike the ladder-like hierarchical systems many social animals use, chimpanzees have something more akin to a class system. That's right, some fissions rank higher than others, and chimps in a particular fission hang out with and reproduce with individuals from similarly ranked classes. Despite their rigid rankings of fissions, Individual chimpanzees can rise or fall very far if they play the political game right, or extremely wrong. That means there is a lot of drama in chimpanzee societies. With plots, jealousy, secrets, power plays, and shady alliances, all part of a regular Tuesday for these guys. Violence often accompanies this drama, and sometimes even defines it. Behind humans, chimpanzees are the most violent hominids in the world. And this violent streak is facilitated by their insane physical strength and athleticism. Most people think gorillas are the most dangerous and bloodthirsty of the wild apes, but the large vegetarians are relatively gentle giants compared to their smaller cousins. For starters, unlike gorillas, chimpanzees are not wholly herbivorous. Meat is a prominent part of their diet, and they love it more than anything, often going to extremes to get it. Chimpanzees are opportunistic predators who will prey on anything they can catch and overpower. Their meat menu consists of birds, monkeys, rodents, and antelope. Chimps are even known to prey on juvenile gorillas at times, and in rare cases, human children. Unlike other apes, chimpanzees have a long history of attacks on humans, both in the wild and in captivity. They have been known to do everything from picking off people on the edge of villages to ruthlessly turning on trusted handlers at zoos and in homes. Some people who have handled and owned pet chimpanzees for years have suffered horror moments when their cuddly friends or research subjects bit their or their loved ones face off. However, the worst of chimp violence is often reserved for other chimps. Males in particular are the worst perpetrators of this. Most times, violence is used to secure territorial boundaries. Trespassers who violate these borders may find themselves on the wrong end of an ambush, because chimpanzees are not overwhelmingly huge fans of fair, single combat. Gangs of territorial chimps have been known to surround invaders, hold them down, and deliver brutal beatdowns using fists, teeth, sticks, and rocks. These victims' bodies are often left on the scene almost like a message to other potential violators, meaning that chimps understand the difference between killing for predation and cold-blooded murder. At home, violence is used to establish dominance and jostle for rank. 
young upstart males are always sniffing for weakness among their elders, while older males are always ready to deliver painful lessons. However, these domestic squabbles seldom result in death, as submission, grooming, and food offerings go a long way to assuaging grievances. In fairly rare cases, some especially large fusions can go through civil wars, where some fissions aim to supplant or eradicate rival subgroups. Of course, chimp society is not just defined by violence alone. These animals are extremely empathic and sensitive to each other's needs. They experience grief when their friends and family members die, and they celebrate others' success like when a young chimp learns to use a certain tool. These close bonds can be sustained for many years, even for life. Concepts like best friends, favoritism, and even the adoption of a close friend's orphans are pretty normal for chimps. Bonds are maintained through sharing food and grooming one another, as well as collaborating during nest building. Another fascinating part of chimpanzees' awesome brain power is their photographic memory. Chimps can remember other chimps they last saw years or decades ago, even in photographs. They routinely ace memory games and tests presented to them by scientists, even going as far as outperforming the scientists themselves. Chimps need this precise memory to help them remember their vast home ranges and maintain their complex social systems. Their close proximity to us also makes them prime subjects for all types of research and applications, from medicine, cognitive research, military, space exploration, and beyond. Of course, a lot of this research is, at the very least, ethically questionable. History abounds with horror stories of chimpanzees and other animals as test subjects in nightmarish experiments, and we cannot confidently say the present day is free of such problems. Chimps are also able to learn a bunch of skills, including party tricks and even acting on stage and in Hollywood. Movies, TVs, magazines, and limousines are all part of their habitat too, and they thrive under the spotlight as well as they do in the jungles of the Congo. They are truly remarkable animals. Bonobos Bonobos, like chimpanzees, are part of the Pan genus. However, their full scientific name is Panpaniscus not troglodytes. Of course, given their close physical resemblance to chimps, bonobos are also known as pygmy chimpanzees. As this informal name suggests, bonobos are a bit smaller than common chimpanzees. Males generally max out at around 132 pounds, with females being about two-thirds of the size. Their heads are smaller than those of chimps too, with less pronounced brow ridges above the eyes. However, Female bonobos have more pronounced breasts than their troglodytes' counterparts. Additionally, bonobos have far fewer numbers and much smaller distribution range than common chimps. Their native range is restricted to the area north of the Kasai River and south of the Congo River in the thick tropical forests of the Democratic Republic of Congo. This means they have very little contact with chimps, who tend to stick to the realms north of the Congo River. Diet is another key difference between these two primates. Bonobos are far more content with a plant-based diet than the more carnivorous chimpanzees. In fact, a typical bonobo ape can consume and process north of 9 metric tons, or 20,000 pounds, of seeds alone in its lifetime. Seeds can be dispersed up to 3.1 miles from their home tree. This seed processing actually improves the seed's ability and speed of germination. A few plants, like velvet tamarinds, are highly dependent on their seeds being processed by bonobos and other frugivores. That's a whole lot of good environmental work by any standard. In fact, only forest elephants process and disperse seeds at comparable and greater levels. This makes a bonobo a keystone species in its home environment. Removing them from this habitat would have untold ripple effects on future generations of flora and fauna. And unfortunately, these poor animals continue to face intense pressure from humans. Hunting and loss of native range due to human expansion are the main problems, and as a result, the International Union for the Conservation of Nature IUCN, places them in the endangered tier. Today, there are between 15,000 and 20,000 bonobos living in a native range of 193,000 square miles. Like chimps, bonobos live in highly complex social groupings called troops. However, their systems are more matriarchal than chimp fissions and fusions, with females playing prominent roles in leadership and having a greater say in mate selection. Bonobo troops are nomadic compared to their more territorial chimpanzees. 
Given their even sexual distribution and widely available food sources, they have very little need to protect territories. Another interesting thing about bonobos is their male philopatrism. This just means male bonobos get to stay in their natal troops upon reaching maturity, and they inherit rank from their mothers. Females, however, often have to move away to prevent incest. Life within a troop is pretty varied because bonobos can be anything from gentle, empathic, altruistic, violent, and very flirty. In fact, bonobo sexuality is the stuff of legends. Females, which are in heat way more often than female chimps, are especially talented at using sex as a bargaining chip when seeking food or security from males. Sexual activity is a social lubricant among bonobos, as it can be used for greetings and conflict resolution. Bonobo passion also includes fruit-flavored kisses. They are the only wild animals ever documented tongue kissing, which is pretty wild. The free-spirited bonobos are not the monogamous type either. They can change partners at the drop of a banana and take on new lovers for the thrill of it. However, the height of bonobo craziness has to be their celebratory orgies. When the troop is excited about a new feeding zone or even a kill, they get worked up into frenzies that typically end in group sex. Ultimately, bonobos are very similar to chimpanzees as far as appearance and intelligence, but their social systems, dietary tendencies, and nomadic ways mark them out as completely different animals.